Family and friends of Tyon Wells packed the courtroom Thursday. Is there a parent here for the defendant? <coughs> yes. Wells' mother stood with him in court as the judge went through the charges against her son. Among them, one count of second-degree murder for the death of Zachary Parker, a North High student. It is punishable by a maximum of life imprisonment. Prosecutors say Wells and a 15-year-old boy went to North 25th in Crown Point Sunday afternoon to purchase marijuana. But sometime during the transaction, they say Wells pulled a gun and demanded the drugs. They began to drive away and tie on Wells pointed the firearm into the vehicle and fired three to four times, causing the injuries to Mr. Darnell and the subsequent death of Mr. Parker. Prosecutors asked for the $1 million bond for Wells. His attorney wanted less. We asked the court to definitely do set a bond. Uh, he just turned 14 years of age a couple of months ago. He goes to McMillan Middle School. But prosecutors argued Wells ran from the scene and has been in trouble with the law before. Sir, taking into account the nature and circumstances of the offense charged and the general public, I will set your bond at $1 million. And Wells' attorney says they will file a motion to move the case to juvenile court. The other suspect in this crime appeared in juvenile court today. He's facing a drug charge. A judge today ruled he'll remain in the Douglas County Youth Center until he can be placed in a youth shelter. Melissa, back to you. All right, Alex.